So continuing in our video series on MIDI control surfaces, uh, I found a, another one here that's um, from Korg. It's called the Nano Control, and it's very thin and small. You can see here that uh, it's just it's not as wide as a regular keyboard. It's about as wide as a a smaller laptop and it's got um, eight knobs and two buttons per channel here and a slider so there's eight oh well, look at that there's nine <laughs> I didn't even notice that there's nine channels and each channel has a knob and uh, two buttons and a fader and then it's got some transport controls over here and it's got these different scenes so these are these are presets so you could have these linked to different uh, controls and in, in plug and switch between them like that the good news is it's about 35 or 40 dollars US on Amazon so for that of course you don't get the motorized fader and what that means is that you can move the controls here and they'll move in in plug but the the reverse won't be true so basically if you're gonna use this control service you wanna only do your uh, control adjustments from the from the control surface and not in in uh, plug itself so just like the uh, the Behringer control service we looked at in chapters one and two, uh, these buttons are by default momentary. I've already reprogrammed them here, but let me switch to another scene, and you can see here that let's see how that's momentary. But you can reprogram to to be on and off. And the way you do that is uh, you go to the Korg website here. And the support. And then you search for nano control downloads and scroll down. There's a ton of downloads, but you want this control editor here. And here's the, the PC version. And I've got that loaded up here. So see, it shows you all the controls and the MIDI note numbers or actually channel ch uh, control numbers and then what you do here is you click on control and we want the button button one and see here button behavior toggle by default it'll be momentary but we want to change it to toggle so I've already gone through and done that for all of the buttons here okay so let's go ahead and go into plug and just as we did with the the Behringer we'll do MIDI devices nano control output now I don't know if this is really necessary because it doesn't have the motorized faders but I'm just doing it the same way that I did the uh, the Behringer and it seems to work fine so we get the input and the output MIDI device and then we go into the uh, right click on the output nano control MIDI device MIDI feedback nano control just like we did on the Behringer now I want to show you um, something I learned in in the meantime you know this I've seen this MIDI learn button here and there's not really much documentation for it but in the last chapter um, you know we were that's where Zemon that's Zemon we were right clicking and we we're doing control from MIDI and then picking one of these um, there's another way you can do it is you can just click on this MIDI learn and then what you do is you you click on the control and then you can just um, let 
me get the webcam video up here. Then as soon as you move the control, it learns it just like before. Um, but now you can you can keep going. So I want uh, let's do uh, solo on the bottom row here. So do you left front solo. I'm gonna do um, number six. Okay, and right front solo, I'm also going to do number six. And then center solo, I'm going to do number seven. Okay, LFE solo, click on it and then press the button. And left surround solo, right surround solo, that same button. And then you just keep going here. I'm going to do the top row for mutes. Okay, then you turn learning off. I'll just get all these ready to go here. Turn learning off. Okay, so now you can see here this button. Let me dim the light here a little bit so you can see the. So that button is the solo. Fronts, solo center, LFE, right, and mute. So we're just setting this up just like a mixer, just like we did with the uh, motorized faders. And so similarly, we can go over here to spec and say MIDI learn, left front. Move fader number six, center, fader number seven, eight, LFE, and the rears. Okay, stop learning. So now I've got my MIDI controls here from the nano control. And just for grins, let's show you the knobs. Let's go into Z pan here. So this might be for a slice setup. Going to MIDI learn. I'll do the fronts on knob six. I'll do the center on knob seven. And we'll do the rears on knob 9. Okay, turn learning off. So now we've got pan, mute, solo, and gain for the fronts. Pan, mute, solo, and gain for the center. Here's my center pan. Uh, we, didn't, we don't have a pan for the LFE. But we've got mute solo and gain for the LFE, and we've got pan, mute solo, and gain for the rears. Just let's see what else can we do here. Uh, we could do the uh, let's do the transport controls. So I'm gonna hit MIDI learn, press the play button, press play, turn off learning. So. There's your transport control. So that's pretty much it. We learned uh, about another control surface. There's two others in this series, uh, one with pads, and then the other one is uh, actually uh, like a little keyboard, MIDI uh, musical keyboard. Uh, but this is the one I think that's ap applicable to, uh, to plug and spec. Um, so for 35 bucks, not bad.